Hello, I'm Dave Llewellyn. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. The Supreme Court strikes down Roe v. Wade. That decision finds that there is no longer a federal constitutional right to an abortion. At least 13 states are now in a position to ban abortion in the next 30 days. Anti-abortion supporters are praising the ruling, while pro-abortion activists warn that this decision will have a wide-ranging impact on women across the country. A tragic discovery Friday morning at a home on Detroit's west side, the body of a three-year-old boy found in a freezer. Detroit police say the gruesome discovery was made during a welfare check at a home on Monte Vista near Fullerton. Three officers noticed something wasn't quite right and investigated further. The mother of the child, a 30-year-old woman, has been taken into custody. The Oxford School District announcing several new safety measures for the start of the new school year in the fall. They include new electronic monitoring of the schools and students, armed guards in all eight school buildings, and a gun sniffing dog in the high school. The long list comes with a $9 million tab, which state and federal money will help cover. Oxford school officials are hoping the efforts help turn a corner and rebuild trust with the community. Here's Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth now with a check of your seven first alert forecasts. Going to be a hot weekend here, going all the way up to 90 on Saturday, but without heavy, heavy humidity. And then on Sunday, it's a little juicier. We start at 70, go to 86, but there's a 40% chance for a shower or a thunderstorm. I don't think there's anything real nasty about that, but you might get a clap of thunder in there. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday all look dry again, and temperatures start climbing back from around 80 to around 90. If you don't get some rain on Sunday, you got to wait all the way till Friday for your next chance.